Devastation, your boy, you know, Ben Troas Pop, and today we are back with another Boruto video, but this time we're going to be discussing something from Boruto, Naruto, the next generation, something that happened in episode one. So everybody's been talking about this, this is something that's kind of been heavy on my mind, but you know, we saw Boruto unlock a new type of like, Aijutsu, aka his KK Genkai, you know, there's a lot of speculation behind it, so we about to cover it a little bit, we about to try to dissect it and figure out what it is. So if you guys are excited about today's discussion video, make sure you hit that like button, if you hit that like button bro i'm giving out cookies so you better get yours you hear me if you don't hit that like button i bit this one but you know don't worry about that but dead ass hit that like button now with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode let's get into today's video let's get it Whipping all this double bit of drop off we both call you bitches at the drop off i can't trust you all can't give you real address i can't trust you all can't give you real address they don't mean that be like jerry stagger I might fall in love with my trap -offs. All right, so let's talk about this doju. So let's talk about this KK Genkai. So we all know that, you know, my man Boruto comes from a branch of the Hugo clan at some point because we do know Hinata is the heiress to the Hugo clan, which she has the Byakugan. It could be passed down to her. Now, if we look into, like, the shit that we've seen with Boruto, we've seen in the manga, we know about the movies and shit like that, we know for a fact that my girl Hinata got some Utsutsuki chakra directly from Hamura. You know, she inherits some of the chakra in a certain degree. Now, if you think about it, there's a lot of different ways this could have mutated, right? So I'm going to talk about that a little bit, but we're about to talk about everything everybody with their like chakra connections then we have naruto uzumagi who got some chakra from hagaromo utsusuki aka the sage of six pets so he got some chakra from that fucking utsusuki she got some chakra from that utsusuki right now later on in boruto we see boruto eventually get some chakra from momoshiki we still get him see get some type of seal for the people that read the manga we know he gets some type of like curse mark seal in his hand we don't know what it actually is we don't know what goes on with him but this is actually this honestly is like future events so i'm not even going into like super detail about like the future i'm just talking about what we know about boruto as a whole for the future references now in the beginning of boruto the next generation naruto episode one there was a moment where boruto actually gets this weird like kk genkai this weird doju to his eye like takes a weird shape and a weird color you know what i'm saying so everybody's under the impression that it's the byakugan then there are some people that speculate it's the tensei gun but the thing is if you look and you dissect like the jutsu the the, the eye jutsu itself like you see it's neither like it, i mean it could be like a mutation because i was reading through the comments and somebody suggested that it could be a mutation of the byakugan but due to the fact that you know he has Uzumaki chakra, right? So he got Uzumaki chakra plus the Ashura plus you know even though Naruto didn't directly pass on Kurama's chakra to him, he still gets remnants of that. Hence the whiskers. So you know he still has a little bit of the Tell Beast chakra inside of him. Plus he had the Otsutsuki chakra from the Sage of Six Pets, uh, aka Hagoromo, and then he got some uh Hyuga chakra from his mother, which later on got some Utsutsuki chakra from Hamura. So right boom bam pow like this is where shit starts to tie in you know that's a lot of different chakra forms going into it now if you look at himawari you know she has to be Akagan. for people that like read like stuff about boruto well naruto you know with the scarlet springs and shit like that you know a lot like naruto the day before he came hokage and shit like that you know that himawari has the Akagan. now if you look in back into kishimoto kishimoto stated you know that he was originally supposed to give boruto the Akagan. you know they were supposed to have it right off the back it wasn't supposed to be like some shit he he got later on in the show it was supposed to be something that he got immediately in the series now one thing i would like to say with that is you know he completely forgot so we think it's i'm thinking to myself well since you forgot you know eventually gonna write it in and if you look at the manga chapters you see this eye so you automatically assume that it's the byakugan but the thing is the Byakugan gives you like this stretch marks, you know, you get these like strains on your eyes, you get them some type of like, like restraint. And on top of that, you seen Boruto when he looked at the uh, Dinky, he seen like a weird chakra around him. He didn't necessarily see like through him. You didn't see his vital points. He didn't see like his complete chakra flow. He seen an Aurora. He seen like the string of chakra that was fucking him up or making him basically turn him evil. It didn't directly make it seem like, you know, he could see vital points. He could see like through objects and he could see like super meters because it wasn't like no extra x-ray type shit which we've known the biakugan to be on some x-ray type shit or maybe this may be like a step above the biakugan because you know if you enhance the biakugan that's when you get the strains because at some point you know it's really weird to see because like if you look at it it looks kind of like he came back through edo tensei because if you look in the inside of his eye it goes completely black now a lot of people like to argue and say you know well it's because he has naruto's blue eyes that 
you know his eye is a little bit bluish a bluish tilt and that's something i think is pretty interesting now if you refer back to the movie or not really the movie but so much as the manga the, like not the chapter 11 but chapter 10 when he would basically encounter momoshiki and shit like that momoshiki told him those blue eyes will be the ruin of him and you know those eyes will be like something that, that like fucks him up so like that that alone basically plays a part and then if you think about it you know we got this first episode of boruto when it when he some like randomly like he didn't even know he awakened this he just was like my eye you know what what is this what am i seeing he didn't even know what the fuck he was seeing you know but like in the boruto movie they didn't even have that shit so this is like some completely new kk ginkai now a lot of people like to speculate and say this may be a mutated version due to all like his chakras and all the different like mixtures of his cells and shit like that because you know ganamakaze uzumaki utsusu you know you got some Hyuga up in there plus reincarnation you got Rama up in there you know this man is pretty much a mix of all of that shit that has to do anything in the fucking village I'm talking about this man has a mixture of everything but Uchiha like that ass and if you think about it he still got a part of the Uchiha because he came directly from the Utsusukis uh, because he's out of reincarnation and his dad basically got the chakra from Hagoromo which is the father to you know the Indras and the Asuras and shit like that that way you know still he still has some type of lineage connecting back to like the Sharingan users but at a certain degree this shit is probably one of the most interesting things that probably captured and captivated all of our attention now we know later on that he gets some type of seal but like what exactly is this dojutsu like let me know how you feel about this dojutsu let me know your personal thoughts and personal opinions because honestly right now it's all speculation I know a lot of people say that like it's a mutation maybe it's gonna be something that basically genetically mutated or maybe it might be the next step behind the Byakugan because we do know you know the Sharingan had like a step after the Sharingan which was Mangekyo Sharingan and if you were like had like an extra set of eyes you got internal Mangekyo but that was supposed to be more so for like reincarnations so that's one thing that's pretty interesting you know like the Mangekyo Sharingan and the Byakugan never was noted to have a stage above the Byakugan now we've seen a lot of different forms of the Rinnegan throughout the series you know there's like the red there's the purple and then we seen momoshiki get the newest one the yellow one so that's like uh some some interesting like you know renegons that we have here maybe they're trying to recreate like the byakugan to give it a different form give it a different format but i don't see no strain on his eyes or maybe it takes him to completely activate his eyes to put that strain on his eyes causing him to get the stress marks but as of right now we don't know if it's the byakugan you don't know if it's the tensegan we don't actually know what the fuck it is but like that shit is pretty dope like I'm not even lying the fact that his eye turns to this black and then it only has like this it's like a bluish white but like what makes me weirded out about it is like why does he only have it in one eye I know Kishimoto stated like hey you know if a Hyuga clan member have a baby with a U U Uchiha clan member one of them is going to have a Sharingan the baby's going to have a Sharingan and then it's going to have a Byakugan in one eye so it's going to be having a Byakugan and a Sharingan so I can understand that you know that that's it's completely normal but like with Naruto Naruto doesn't necessarily have a KK Genkai could it be due to like Naruto's Sage's Chakra could it be due to like I, I just don't know like this is something like it, it, it's just really like it's a wrap of things it could be so many different things and it have so many different outputs with it like it's one of those things where you just sitting there you're trying to dissect it but eventually it goes into such a deep format that you will never really truly grasp upon it and i'm really like mind boggled by this shit like the fact that he got this shit like right away you know this shows how excellent and how strong boruto truly is going to become because if you know like from the series you see naruto you know naruto in part one he was going to academy he could barely make a clone versus we got boruto going to the academy he can make up to three to four clones you know and he gets like this weird ass kk genkai plus he's more skilled than naruto was if you saw like him fighting against uh konohamaru basically when he was you know getting in trouble at the end of the episode he actually did some great hand-to-hand -hand combat with taijutsu now we know naruto did some stuff like that but he reminded me of more of sasuke when he was fighting against kakashi because basically konohamaru was blocking out all the hits with one hand kind of how kakashi was when they were fighting against Sa when sasuke was fighting against him when they were doing like the bell training and shit like that but i know it didn't get that deep yet but it's still one of those things where it's like damn this man is so adept already like this man is so skilled like how how far is he gonna progress how much better is he gonna get this man really showing how much like power and how much strength that he has to become like a true shinobi so like seeing boruto progress is something i'm really be looking forward to i'm really like interested in seeing how far he goes i'm really really want to know what the fuck is this doju to because this is probably the most interesting thing so far introduced in boruto because even though in the manga chapter you know he has the eye but they never like specify what exactly 
exactly it is. They don't go into detail. You know, you don't even see like the black shit around it. You just see his eye glow. You know what I'm saying? And then in part one, he gets this black shit around his eye, almost as if it's an Edo Tensei. So it's like one of those things where is this gonna be like some extra anime shit? You know, because like maybe like the writers are like, all right, we're gonna give you some shit that you can put into anime, and eventually we'll put it to the manga and talk about it in the manga, or like what? Because you do know like the manga in the manga, you know, they're already like basically after the tuning exams and shit like that because if you look at the manga they fought against Momoshiki and they continue and after that and shit like that kind of like a little recap of that versus in the anime they're started at the academy and then you know Boruto is going to the academy he's getting his eye jutsu and shit like that this is probably one of the most mind fucking things about Boruto right now because none of this shit has been added into that manga none of this shit is really like canon in this per se but at the same time it is because you know it relates to his eye you know in the future so it's probably like a, a story that was untold or maybe we'll get like a chapter that goes back into it and lets us know about this shit but right now i'm a little confused let me know your opinions on his dojo too let me know like how you feel about it and with that being said my name is chino bentro stay true and stay real hope you guys have a blessed day and until next time see you guys later bye -Z.